Can you talk about what it was like to take on the iconic role of John Walton? It's crazy because when you are going on a set Well, what was it like? You know, I wasn't in last year's installment, so there was a little bit of, um, you know, will the kids like me, will they accept me type of, type of thing. Once I got over those jitters, uh, I mean, I'm thrilled, man. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a good age. I've been doing this for over 20 years. Uh, my first thought about, about playing John was, well, I'm too young to play John. You know, um, Ralph Waite from the original Waltons, he was way older than me. He was actually younger than me when I started. He just, you know, they, they looked a little older. Mm -hmm. yeah. So once I got over those jitters as well, John embodies every everything that I wanted to do as an actor next. And when the opportunity came along, I was, I was thrilled. Yeah. Uh, had you been a fan of the original show? Uh, I mean, I... No, I, I actually had never seen it. Um, oh, wow. But I was a f I was a fan of the show in that it's like it casts a very long shadow. Yeah, yes. its legacy looms very large. I was born in 1977, so like reruns were on when I was a kid, but it wasn't really my you know, it was in the Saturday morning cartoons and stuff. But when I talked to my dad about it, when I talked to my um, aunts and uncles about it, like everyone was everyone was glowing. My my mother-in-law used, used to talk about how watching the show helped her. You know, kind of form her her way of seeing the world, and, and you know, and, and approaching problems and dealing with other people. So, you know, she, she just said, "Listen, for me, that I grew up on this show." So, um, when I, I don't know, just knowing sort of how iconic the show is, I don't know. I was I was thrilled for the opportunity, and I'm, I, was, I was over the moon when I got the script, and I'm excited to see it. I haven't, I haven't seen it, yet. so we're going into this line, and I'm thrilled. And can you talk about what it was like to work with Bellamy? She says it's just for her. But um, I get that on Bellamy. the next year. I'm really excited Bellamy, about I'm it. such a pro. Now what? What we have mutual friends, friends and when um, and when my friend said, "Oh my God, you're working you know, with Bella Young," she's my favorite person I mean, on the planet, and you know, a these are discerning and actor and friends who don't you know, don't suffer fools. So I knew I was in great hands. I reached out to her privately before we started shooting. I wanted to get to know her a little bit, mm -hmm. and um, you know, very luckily she embraced me with open arms, and we have a really nice thing on. I think we have a really nice thing on camera. At least it felt like it when we were doing it. Again, I'm excited to see sort of how it how it shows up. She's easy, she's such a pro, she's fun. Um, I was very, very, very lucky. Are you hopeful to get to do more Walton's movies? I am so hopeful that we get to do more Walton's movies. I'm hopeful we get to do Walton's episodes. I'm hoping we get to do series. Um, I know that there is another Walton's movie written. Okay. I know it's been it's been seen by all the great people. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of a matter of how we do tonight. Last year we did so well. We're hoping to do well enough that we can do that we do a lot more. Of this. Let me, you know, yeah, more than one. And is there any chance we might see you in the new season of The Flash? I'm not being coy here. My hope is that yes, uh -huh. yes, you, you will. I don't know if you will. Uh, I have trying. I've been trying to ask. I'm still in contact with a lot of the, the, the cast. I talk to Grant Gustin all the time. Danielle, Tom Cavanaugh is no longer there. Um, he and I stay in touch, and um, Jesse Martin. So it would be my highest hope that I get to do one more for the final season. The thing with Zoom is though, you can have him in there uh -huh. and keep a mask on him, and then you don't need to bring me up to Vancouver to do it. So I don't actually know how Zoom would factor in, but yeah, my, my hope is like I get one last go. We'll see what happens. Maybe with a society of villains? Dude, uh, <laughs> do you want to place a call to the appropriate people to have them uh, make it happen? I, 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 would, I would hope so. I really would hope so. Um, I just wish I knew. I wish I could tell you either way. And why should people be tuning in and watching the Walton's Thanksgiving? Why should people be tuning in and, and watching the Walton's Thanksgiving? Well, it's the time of year to slow down, to gather with the people you love, whether that's family, your relatives, or the family that you've chosen in your life. And it just takes stock of your of, of your year and to be grateful. And you know, I think what the Waltons do really well is like, you know, they they prove that, you know, listen, you may they may not have a lot in money, but they have a lot in love. And when you have a lot of love, you're you know you're rich, you're abundant. So you know it's a it's a good reminder. So I think people should snuggle up on the couch, grab some popcorn, tune in and have sort of a nice trip back to 1934 and enjoy a little Thanksgiving with the Royals. Thank you.